So here's the next thing I have to do with this particular one. See this whole thing here? It's a threaded rod. I'm going to have to screw into this right there. And if you notice, there's a nut on here. So I'm going to screw that in and see it. I'm going to read the directions or whatever. When I get that to the right height, then see I can tighten that up so it's not going to spin. And I'll, I'll clamp that down with a pair of pliers. And then the end, you know, I'll have to get the glass globe and I have to make sure I put this over the glass and this here and I'll put the glass on here put this over there make sure I've got enough thread sticking out of that on the glass and getting this put on make sure you don't get too much thread because you want this cap to go on tight without showing any of the threads behind there you want that nice and snug okay so I'm gonna play around with that with the glass and get this adjusted. That's, that'll be that'll be the next thing that I do. See, here's that rod, and I've got it screwed in about as far as I think. And then there's that nut on there, and I can take the nut and put it on there, and then I tighten that nut up because I don't want this rod to to loosen up later especially when I get ready to unscrew this. Okay, so then the glass, just checking it all out here. Cap goes on here. Make sure it's snug and it, and it feels snug, you see there? So when I get ready to unscrew this, if I didn't have that nut tight, I could unscrew the whole long rod or something. I don't really want to have to mess with that each time. Okay, so I think I have that all adjusted right. Okay, double check this nut. Make it snug. Okay, there. That's your next step. And see, this is where your light bulbs go, obviously. And I only got one bulb here. I'm only going to put one bulb in. And then next time the owner goes to the store, she'll have to get another bulb. You can decide what type of bulbs to use. It says use a 60 watt or equivalent. If you use CFLs, you could use CFLs in there. You can use LEDs in there and uh, get something that's equivalent to a 60 watt. Maybe you can get something down as low as 13 watts or even 9 watts with an LED or a CFL, depending what kind you, you put in there. So you've got three different options for three different light bulb types for your light fixture. Now here's one thing I didn't mention yet. If your light switch has a dimmer switch on there, if you want the light bulbs to dim and if you get CFLs on here or LEDs, make sure you get the type of LEDs that are dimmable or the CFLs that are dimmable because if you don't, I know that you can get some CFLs that are not dimmable and when you turn the dimmer up and down nothing happens. It, it'll go on and then it will go off or it might blink a little bit when you turn when you try to dim it. Okay, Very important to remember that my light switch is just a standard light switch in the wall so I'm good to go whatever type of bulb I use. So now I've just flipped it upside down and I want to take my black wires and these and these wires are stranded wires. So what I like to do first is take all the little stranded wires on each wire and kind of twist it all together on itself. Okay, so it's hard. It's a little something I like to do. Now I'm going to take the two blacks, I'm going to cross them kind of like an X and then I'm going to twist them together. Okay. So it looks like that. Okay. See, that's just one wire now. You can act as though that's one wire. Okay. Now I can do the same thing with the whites. You can see there's two white wires, two black wires, because one black and white goes to one bulb, one black and white goes to the other bulb. If you only have a light fixture with one bulb, obviously you're only going to have what? You're going to have one black wire and one white wire. It's a good thing we checked to see which wires up there 
the whites go on, right? Because you might say, ah, what difference does it make? Just put it up there. Well, it does make a big difference. You don't want to, you don't want to hook the black to the white wire and the white to the black wire. Yeah. Okay. And I have my ground wire. Now I've got to look at the light fixture now, make a determination where I'm going to connect the ground wire. But enough of that. The next step. What's the next step? Yeah, we got to put that little backing plate up there, remember?